Y'all get ready. Yes, you get ready. This news in the streets. Join us and tune in for the tea. Breaking news with integrity. So sell your friends and your family. It's the lovely TV show. Bringing you good tea and good vibes. It's the lovely TV show. Be sure to share, like, and subscribe. Hey, tea sippers. I hope everybody's doing good today. So today we're going to be talking about a celebrity who has been making headlines for her newfound spirituality, which is Black China. The model and reality TV star has been opening up about her journey to finding God, and we're going to explore what led her down that path. In the name of the Son and in the name of the Holy Ghost. Amen. So as we all know, Black China has had a very turbulent personal life with public breakups, legal battles, and a very controversial reputation. However, in the past few months, she's really been opening up about her desire to turn her life around and find a purpose in her faith. Now, if you guys remember back in September, she popped up on the internet and she had a shaved head and it really shocked a lot of people. People didn't really know what to think about it. They were like, why is her head shaved? Is she trying to be like Amber Rose? And I believe that might have been the start of her transformation, but we weren't aware at that point. So now Black China is basically going on an interview tour where she is proudly professing her love for God. And Black China is saying that what inspired her to turn to God is her children. She's been speaking very openly about wanting to set a good example for her kids and create a stable, loving home for them to grow up in. She also talked about her previous choices um, and saying that they weren't fulfilling for her and that she wanted to find something that gave her a deeper sense of purpose. And her newfound spirituality has given her a sense of peace and fulfillment. And so she really talked about this on the Tamron Hall show. She also showed herself dissolving her fillers. And then she went on to Fox News, and this surprised a lot of people. But she talked about OnlyFans and her journey and how she just wants to better herself. So I want you guys to go ahead and check out these clips, and I'm going to come back with the rest of my commentary. And also see my breasts. Angela says it's her previous buttocks augmentation that she was most concerned about and a big reason she wanted to share her story. Now 34, she received illegal silicone injections when she was just 19 years old. The extremely dangerous procedure was not performed by a licensed doctor. This is a regular person that's doing it. So they're getting whatever it is, substance that they're doing and giving it to you. They're not gonna tell you, hey, you know you could possibly die. How was your health affected by the silicone injections? My rear end would get like super like inflamed and it would get really, really hard and like really hot. It was very scary. Look at who I just ran into. <laughs> The one and only Matlock. Beverly Hills cosmetic surgeon Dr. David Madlock spent eight hours removing the silicone from her buttocks. He tells Access Angela's lucky she didn't suffer more serious health consequences. When was the last time you had the injections before removing? The last time, let me see, let me see, maybe nine years ago. So the last injections you had were nine years ago? Mm-hmm. And it's about nine, because King will be 11 this year. Your son. Oh, <laughs> so I'm like, nine. Yeah. yeah. So nine years ago was the last injection. Did the you ever look and say, okay, I've gone too far, this is too much? You were like, no, no such thing. When you're in it, yeah. you don't really see it. You don't see it because you're in it. And most of the time, I want to let y'all know this, most of the time, the stuff is free. So the injections, like in the fillers and the face is free because the people at the clinics, they just want a post so that they can grab, get more people to come in. So it's like, I'll do your injections for free because it's gonna bring me more So you are a walking traffic. billboard. Exactly, so, and the more that is free, it's like, why not go get more and more and China. more? But she's reconnecting with God and not shying away from her newfound beliefs, revealing she was recently born again after getting baptized on her 34th birthday. Her new journey prompting her to make a complete lifestyle change by quitting OnlyFans, calling it degrading, reversing all of her plastic surgery, and now embracing her birth name again. Angela White, also known as Black China, joins us now. Angela, it's so great to have you on the show today. You're 
your birth name is Angela, which means messenger from God, an angel. Um, so we're going to be referring to you as your new name, and we love it. So tell us about this journey. What is it? Um, when did you g get born again? How did you come to this transformation? It's quite remarkable. Hello. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. <laughs> um, good morning. So honestly, I got I got baptized on my birthday. So I was reborn on my birthday, and this was last year of 2022. And, and Angelo, yeah. tell us, you know, tell us why this was important, not just to be born again, but also to walk away from so much that you'd embraced over the last couple of years, OnlyFans and, for that matter, plastic surgery. Why was it important to make that change in lifestyle? It was really important for me, not only just for myself, but spiritually. And I really want to set an example for my daughter, Dream. You know, I want to make sure that, you know, anything that I do, like I want to be a positive reflection on her life and the generations to come. Angela, was there was there a moment in particular where you said, you know, the things of this world are not fulfilling to me? Uh, you know, I need a higher purpose. Yes, honestly, for me, I was like, like, this is too much. It's time for a change. This is not really who I am. And I, something just came over me, like the Holy Spirit came over me. And I was like, you know what? I need to figure out what's my purpose in life. Like, why am I here? Like, and, and the way that I was living, I was like, you know, what? I, I don't like the way I'm, that I'm living. So I had to make a change so I could start walking into my own truth. And I feel like for me, that's very important. You know, you talk about setting an example for your daughter, Dream, who is beautiful. Um, but you're also setting an example yes. for a lot of young women. I mean, OnlyFans has become so normalized. Um, and, of course, you were a big star on there. So what would you say to other young women who are, as you described, uh, debasing themselves, degrading themselves on that um, platform um, sexually? For me, I, I would honestly say if it's... It, if it's something that you're going through and you really just have to make the money, do it, but also to get out of it. Because to me, it's always, it's gonna be a dead end. Anytime something is like fast money, it never ends well. And it's like, you never wanna chase money. You always wanna attract money. And like, the reason why I even started the OnlyFans because I was dealing with so many lawsuits, so many this, so many that, and I was scared to lose everything. So I kind of went to something which I knew wasn't right, but I just wanted to use it at that time just to get through it. And honestly, like when I got baptized, I knew like God told me like, you do not need to be doing this. Like this is not, this is not why I put you here to be doing to degrade yourself because our bodies is a temple. Mm, is, oh, yeah. that phrase right there, your body's a temple. I assume, tell us about your thought process yes. on plastic surgery, um, that this was an important step as well for you to go about reversing your plastic surgery. As far as reversing the surgery, it was really, really important for me because what I had got was illegal um, silicone injections. And what happens is some girls, they get it. But for me, like sometimes I would kind of like fall like ill and fall kind of sick from it. And the older that I get, I'm starting to realize like, I want to be here for my kids. I want to have, you know, my grandkids, I want to be running around. Like I want to just get this out of my body because obviously it's going to, in the long term, make me sick. And I came out so publicly because I want to let other women know that, that you can die from this. Um, I've had, you know, cases where I've, I've also obviously researched it where girls um, can't reverse it and now they have to like undergo a procedure where they cut you from your lower back and then have to scrape out everything. And you know, and for the women, it's really, it makes them really, really, really sad. And I, I just wanna like warn women just not to do it, it's not worth it because you can possibly die from it. You could fall ill. It could travel to your lungs, mm. migrate to different parts of your body, discoloration, disfigurement. So ladies, like, just don't, just don't do it. Like, don't do it. And if you do decide to do like a BBL or any cosmetics, you know, make sure you do the research because everybody aren't, everybody isn't certified plastic surgeons and they can be injecting you with anything. You never know like what they're putting into, into so your body. Mm -hmm. It can be, yeah, it can be whatever. We don't know. 
So mm. for me, when I got it when I was 19, I was young and naive. So I didn't know about all like the dangers and things like that of the sort. And all right, you guys, so I feel really good. My hair is growing back. I like shaved it off. Just needed a fresh start. I didn't want like all the negative energy on me. And I must say, I feel really good. Like I feel um, like super calm and like, what's the word? Like, like grounded. Yeah, grounded. <laughs> Actually, I feel like super free too. So, the skin is doing what it needs to do. <clears throat> the fillers are like dissolving. I think I might have to go back like two more times. We'll see. All right, so you guys just saw those clips. So, Black China's journey to finding God has definitely led her to change her life. And she's definitely being more selective on the types of things that she engages in, from movies to projects and different things that she tries to take on. She's also trying to be more private about her personal life and choosing to focus on her faith and family. So a lot of people have been asking, well, what does her mom feel about this? Because I believe a few months ago, her mother was like really upset and crying. I remember there was a video that went viral on the shade room of her mother crying and upset by how China was dressed, you know, during the Grammy Awards. I swear to God, she would sacrifice me for more. What is she doing at the Grammys? For what? You ain't did shit. I can't complete nothing with a weak ass nigga. And then a few weeks ago, she went viral again, crying about Black China removing her Baphomet tattoo. She's listening to me, she's been listening. Oh God, it just shook me. Lord, it shook my soul. Y'all see that shit? Oh my God, I'm not even crying. It just made my, oh. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Once it's lined up to your artists, it's say, hey, this is good. Oh my God. I'm sorry, y'all. Oh my God, I'm in July. She also would say, no feelings anywhere from one to two weeks. Thank you, Father God. I'm thanking you right now, Jesus. For me, I have a tattoo, my very first tattoo. Thank you, Lord God. Thank you, Jesus. So I had assumed that Tokyo Tony was on board with her and was really supporting her. But now there's another video going viral on social media where she's saying that she feels like Black China is faking it. So y'all go ahead and check these videos out. <laughs> I'm not going for it because she mad, shawty. I am God's child, not China. China is a PR stunt. Come on, bitch. We know better. I don't give a fuck. She'll never talk to me in life, child. I raised her, had her, taught her. She know everything. She know everything. This bitch is faking. In Jesus' name, stop her right now. Put her on her back for playing with you, Lord. Take her name out the Lamb's Book of Life. If she playing with you, Lord... In Jesus' name, you're not going to do that. All right, so you guys just saw what Tokyo Tony had to say. So the whole situation is unfortunate. Like I said, at the end of the day, it's not for any of us to judge her journey. All we can do is watch her plant her seeds and see what type of fruits come out from that. But from what I'm seeing from Black China so far, she seems to be taking her journey very seriously. You know, even showing her hair and showing like this little afro that she had. I thought that video was just adorable that she posted earlier today. But she seems to be, you know, on her journey to not only find God, but to maintain her sobriety and get negative people away from her. And to possibly want to do better in life. And, you know, it's always good for people to want to change and do better. But again, I get it that some people have their reservations. Some people want to, you know, kind of see is this really a change or she's just doing this for attention, for new followers, because maybe people aren't paying like that anymore. You know, it's a lot of girls that are going down the spiritual path. And like I said in my live stream the other night, all we can do is sit back and watch them and see what type of harvest they end up receiving next year from, from the seeds that they're planting. So I wish everybody good luck on whatever journey 
spiritual goal, you know what I'm saying, self-discovery and growth that people are on. All I can do is take them at their word and wish them the best. So go ahead and leave a comment. Let me know what you guys think about this entire situation. How do you feel about Black China's journey and, you know, the things that she said in these interviews concerning her change? How do you guys feel about her mother and what her mom has to say? Do you feel like she's faking it? Do you stand with what her mother is saying? Or do you feel like, no, Black China is really changing and let's just sit back and watch her go through her metamorphosis? So feel free to leave a comment. Don't forget to like and share the video. Thank you guys so much for subscribing, and I'll talk to y'all later. Deuces. If you want the latest news in the streets, join us and tune in for the tea. Breaking news with integrity, so sell your friends and your family. It's the Lovely Tea TV Show, bringing you good tea and good vibes. It's the Lovely Tea TV Show, be sure to share, like, and subscribe.